A TikTok has taken up a lot of my brain space and I can't help but notice that my entire For You page is just TikTok shop. It's spreading, it's happening. And now I'm gonna give my money to them too. The amount of times that I said TikTok shop in this video makes me wanna throw up. So that's just a warning. I'm gonna do something a little scary, maybe even a little dangerous. I'm gonna go on the TikTok shop. But I'm gonna find cases for my phone. Anyways, let's go shopping. My barista's really outdoing herself. Already right off the bat, what is this? What is this? Why does it say smile? Oh, and then it looks different in this product picture. I've been seeing these shell ones everywhere, but I would love to create my own. I wanna use my hands. Imagine putting that in my purse. I always wonder why there's random like words on cases. Like why does it say baby? I feel like this one's just a picture from Pinterest printed on a phone. I feel like you'll always find the weirdest cases on here. Like what is this? It's kind of cute though. And now TikTok shop has $20 of my money from my bank account. I feel robbed. Cheers to buying plastic off the TikTok shop. That didn't sound good. Six days later, my package officially arrived. I got the stuff. And by stuff, I mean this giant icy the size of my head. Whoever invented ICs, I love you. No, but really, I got it. Okay, everything from TikTok, for some reason, comes in this black bag. It's a little mysterious. I don't know where they come from. I don't know who's packaging this. And I've realized I made a lot of mistakes in my life. There's things that I have to reflect on. But one of my biggest regrets in life is every single time that I accidentally order two of something. Why do I have two of these? And why are they different sizes? It doesn't make sense. Nothing's making sense. Nothing's adding up. Everything on TikTok shop just reminds me of AliExpress, except it has express shipping. In total, I spent 20 bucks and I got five cases. This feels wrong, but let's see which one's gonna look cute on my phone. Everybody knows that I have this secret obsession. It's not even a secret. I have this obsession with a pink iPhone. I want a true Pro Max pink iPhone. Pro Max is the key word, okay? So when this case came out, the entire world was, well, not even the entire world. A lot of people, okay? More than 10 people. It was like the first time someone's ever used my videos to promote their product without me knowing, and it freaks me out. So I never wanted to try it. But here I am, and it's not even the right one, okay? I got the one that's glittery, the one that is clear, because I do not want to support the other one. You know, this case is not gonna work, actually. <laughs> My phone is bougie, okay? Uh, she has the little rhinestones over the lenses, and this one is one of those cases. Uh, it's cute, but it doesn't want to go in all the way because of my lens protectors, and I'm not taking them off. It's a part of my personality, I can't take them off, no. This is the thinnest phone case of all time, and sometimes I like that, you know? I like to hold my phone and feel like there's nothing on it, because basically this is nothing on it. I wish that this wasn't here. I hate phone cases with this thing. I like the window to be open. I don't know how to get it out, though. <laughs> oh no. <gasps> no. How do I get it out? This is not funny. I broke it. One of the lens things came off. My phone is so stuck right now. I'm scared. Okay. Oh gosh. I'm not putting this thing back on there. Ooh, that stressed me out a little bit. I rate that one a negative one out of 10. That is the worst phone case I've ever put on my phone. It's so thin, it's scary, but the glitter is so pretty. I bought this for $2, so I can't really complain, but um, I'm going to. My IC was a dollar. So imagine I could have had two ICs in my hands right now if I did not buy this. <laughs> I'm not a really big Hello Kitty fan, but I know that the entire world is right now. It's all I see everywhere. But at one point in my life, I was really obsessed with her. I think everyone has to go through that, that phase at least once in their life. So I got this one. Okay, the bow is there. This actually feels nice. This is actually a nice case. Hold up. The buttons are a little popped out. Everything's cute. Wait, I actually like this one. It's really thin. This gives it a little bit of weight, you know? It just feels like your phone's gonna fall forward, so it's unbalanced, but 
you gotta do it for the cuteness. It's kind of coquette, if you will. And I've been using the bow emoji way too often. I paid $1.28 for this. This one feels like it's worth it. And it's so soft. Like I could see a little selfie with it, but you have to put on the grippers. You have to put in those hand muscles. This thing slides out of your hand one time, one time, and your phone is done. Done. Is this gonna be the start of my Hello Kitty phase once again? No, it's not. This one's definitely a nine out of 10. I got this purple one. All right, this one's a little bulky. Wow, ouch. It's a little hard cut of plastic down here, so gotta be careful with your pinkies when you're holding it like this. I don't know how I feel about this one. It's giving me a lot of like emotions right now. There's like a centimeter of air around the phone. I don't know, I think this one's cool. I just, I have to figure out a way to make this not scratch me down here. I paid a dollar for this one. A dollar. A dollar and one cent. This one's actually so pretty, and I like the fact that I just paid a dollar for some plastic to wrap around my phone. And it's actually cute, plastic. These two are actually a hit. I would actually wear these. I feel like this looks like it's gonna bounce the minute it hits the floor. It's just gonna, like, I don't know, bubble up and bounce. They gave me a little bit of a challenge though. I can't get to the action button. It's a good thing that I have nails, but what if I didn't? I don't think you could get into there if you didn't have nails. Cause this is just putting the volume up. So lastly, I bought these two phone cases by accident. But why did I get two different sizes? Were they like, let me just spice up her order? Like what if I wanted to match with my friend? But honestly, this one sucks. In my opinion. That's my opinion! It's just my opinion. Don't argue with me, okay? I truly believe that this is the best way to eat an IC. There's a reason why there's a shovel in this. <laughs> I hate this one, and I know hate is a strong word, but I'm using it. The printing on this one just makes me angry. And to think I spent less on this one, which is bomb, and then I got this one for more. This was the picture. I just feel like in the picture, it kind of is a catfish. Not to be that person, but it literally looks like the pic- Why do I look like that? I feel like I'm giving Uncanny Valley. Maybe I'm the catfish. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know what I'm talking about. It looks just like the picture. I should have known. I, I feel like it looks like the picture, sure. But for some reason, I kind of just hate it. I don't know what I was thinking in the moment when I got it. I kind of like this one. <laughs> I like having stars everywhere. I do. There's like a little space in between the case and the phone and it's just like an air pocket up here. So yeah, if you guys see me buying a stove off the TikTok shop, look the other way. If you guys see me buying the Alex Earl light, if out of nowhere I'm eating spicy noodles, please don't look at me. Just, just mind your business, okay? Please. Your business is yours and mine is mine. Wait a second, I actually really like this one. Look at that one, that one's kind of cute. See, how can I not? I'm obsessed with slippers and these are just $4. I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it. Um, please don't be like me. Please don't buy random stuff like this. Um, and if you do, make sure it's not this case. Cause I kid you not, look at it, these are gonna come off. I like to buy silly goofy things just like the next person does. I actually bought from a small business on there and I got this little cute sweater and I love that sweater so freaking much. So I actually like the small business part about TikTok. I'm trying to figure out things. I don't wanna like impulsively buy things from the TikTok shop just to get commission. Even though there's people making hundreds of thousands of dollars on there, like I don't understand it. I can't grasp my head around that. Am I missing out on this whole like TikTok marketplace? I don't know. So tell me what you think about the TikTok shop because my mother is definitely a TikTok shop person. She loves to buy things off of the TikTok shop and um, I don't know, she bought wigs one time. 
and I love that for her. She had such a great time opening those up. So am I just being a hater of the TikTok shop? Should I embrace the TikTok shop? <laughs> so yeah, those are all the phone cases I have for you guys. But if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. The button's down below. And if you want to see me on any other social medias, I'll have them right here for you. And I will see you guys for the next video I do. Bye! I literally, I'm so excited about this because I printed out pictures. Um, I'm a little scared of this one. This is a pink aura. Cute. Cute. This one's got a bunch of colors in it. It's marbly and it says abundance. It kind of makes me feel something when I look at it. And then this one says good things are coming. See? Multiple times so that I can just hammer it into my head. Good things are coming. They are. They're coming for you. They're coming for me. They're coming everywhere. And then I'm going to frame them in these. So cute. And then I'm going to put them over here. That blank wall. Anyways, I'm going to... They go now. Bye.